Hey guys, this is Strider Prime. We are doing a special um, Black Friday gun podcast uh, on our YouTube channel uh, for Thursday, I'm sorry, Thursday, Friday, uh, November 23rd. I hope everyone has enjoyed their Thanksgiving um, uh, yesterday. Hopefully not everybody is uh, as stuffed and tired as you know as I am, and uh, I hope everyone got their you know Black Friday items for today. But today's uh, segment is, of course, we're covering on the amount of new kits that's coming out this uh, next calendar year, 2013. If we survive, you know the, the uh, Mayan calendar issue. Uh, of course, joining me today is uh, Prime92. How you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, well, and we're we're kind of psyched on the amount of kits that's coming out now. We've already seen the preview of what's going to come out in January with the Master Grade Tall Geats. That was a, an interesting uh, take in all this. But to see all these other kits coming out just threw us off. We... First of all, we'll, we'll begin with the real great announcement of the 144 scale Destiny Gundam, which is, right now, it has no price tag. Probably it's going to probably be the same price as the uh, Freedom. And it's scheduled to come out spring of 2013, so we're probably thinking, what do you think, March, April? Um, not, uh, might be April. Um, I can't remember. What was the, uh, the spring one? Let me let me uh, let me, let me here. yeah let me pull it up the was it the, April or March? Oh, I'm pulling it up from the um, from Hobby Link's uh, page. They'll have everything All scheduled. Right. But yeah. we were just talking about the real grades, and I think how how we ended up with the conversation of what we we believe was going to be the destiny was of course the fact that when we saw the announcement of the De uh, Gundam Seed Destiny uh, HD uh, uh, series coming out for next year. We started to, you know, play around in our heads saying, okay, Bandai is going to continue milking the the, um, the, uh, the Seed series like what they did this year. Mm -hmm. Especially with all four GAT kits. Mm -hmm. This, this count in 2013, we we're going to probably see some other kits that we want to, you know, Master Grade, High Grade, whatever. And I think the best thing to start off, of course, is with the Destiny. Well, the name of the series makes yeah. sense. I know. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm. I know that a lot of people are mad because I know there's a lot of Destiny haters. Personally, I actually kind of like Destiny. I like the first half mostly, and I like the mech design. Uh -huh. But after the first half, it kind of went downhill, unfortunately. I think the problem was that the reason why many people did not like Destiny is, I guess, it's short. It, it's um, not that much airtime. When the series kicked no, in. it's it's basically because um I think one of the reasons is because they shifted the focus from the main character on Akira, mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that they should have just kind of made instead of making Shin like the bad guy, because mm -hmm. he was supposed to be kind of like the update of uh, Camille sort of because this is sort of like an, a new take on the the Universal Century like you had seen was kind of like the original Gundam and mm -hmm. then this was supposed to be kind of like Zeta sort of, and they kind of dropped the ball with that. True. And the whole plot at the end just made no sense. It was stupid. Oh. Like you said, it was basically the uh, A-list mobile suit that's supposed to be coming out in the series. So, it's uh, in all fairness, I think they had a you know they. It was a it was a wise selection on their part, on their part to using this kit. It's a new frame. It can't. It's not. I don't think the Destiny is is based off any other frames. Mm, unlike, no, unlike, not. unlike the, I mean, the strike, the strike Gundam can still, the frame of the strike Gundam can, uh, for the real grade kit, can be used for other future real grade kits, like the strike Noir, and the, mm -hmm. um, that would be nice. and isn't, I don't think the Stargazer is based off it, is it? They could probably use the Freedom or the free yeah and another thing we're now going to be seeing the a hd uh, release of uh, the blu-ray release of the um stargazer series which is only three episodes mm -hmm. but who to say that they may decide to ta um, add the strike noir as a real great kit 
or the or mm-hmm. the actual you know uh, Stargazer. Personally, I think the Stargazer will probably I would like to see a Master Raid version since they're going to be releasing this. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Never know. Maybe they'll actually show some new scenes in that uh, Blu-ray re- release. I know. With, uh, seed. Oh, knows? and you were right. April would probably mm-hmm. be appropriate time because the April of this year was the release of the Sky Grasper and the uh, Gundam Mark II Titans. Okay, really? Yeah, it was April. Both of, of, in April. Um, both in April. Let me see if the uh, and in May was the uh, AEUG version of the Mark II. Huh. All right. So, but uh, I'm looking at the looking at the pictures of the real of the real grade dust, or you know, the concept designs, the line art as they refer to it. We're seeing a lot of detail here, especially if that's yeah. I really like the uh, wings. The uh, like they have like looks like little vent pieces on the where the you know the black parts uh-huh. on the top of the wings. There, there's a lot of intricate detail. The the backpack looks a little smaller, or is it just me? Like the middle piece. It is kind of thinner. Yeah. Um, a little bit more compressed. I'm looking at yeah, my ma- in, I'm looking at my master grade one, the one that I made a, a couple of years ago. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks a little compressed version of it. And mm-hmm. it's going to probably be a little thinner. I I don't have. Um, it's a pity I don't have the high grade version of the destin of the destiny, which I can probably it would have been great to do side by side comparison, but that's alright. Yeah, well, I have it, but I just can't get to it at the moment. I know. So yeah. so the real grade destiny, pretty good announcement. It's mm-hmm. a nice mm-hmm. to psych us up on that. The next thing that they started to talk about. Was the release of a ma- of the Master Grade one one hundred scale Jesta? Mm-hmm. Retail price on this is forty five hundred yen. It's coming out in spring of two thousand thirteen, most likely either March or April, whatever those two dates. And I have to tell you something: this is not going to be a standard grunt kit. This is actually going to be a big kit because mm-hmm. I have when I built the high grade version of the Jesta. And I put it next to my um, Type C. It's it's bigger. It's a lot bigger than I, I realize. As a matter of fact, well, that's I, because all the suits from Unicorn are bigger, like the I new know. ones. It's probably even going to be around the same uh, bulk size as the Unicorn Gundam in Unicorn mode. Yeah, it's pretty much the same height. I know. I was. Uh, that was a, a, a shock. I, I thought maybe we're probably going to be seeing something from from Wing, but maybe in a couple of months or something like that, we'll probably see another Wing kit. But maybe closer to the summer. Most likely. Most likely, yeah. Um, now, even though now we're talking about this ma- these, this Master Grade coming out, uh, we were a couple of hours later, they were showing off more Master Grade kits that's positive. I know. I wish I had waited to do my own video about this later, because now they got new master grades they're talking about. <laughs> I know. I, I um, actually. Oh my god. I, I was going to do my video on my own myself, but I said, you know what? Let, we got to talk about this. So, this. Is, so you guys all understand. This is all the displays that's showing off at the Tokyo uh, Gunpla Expo World Tour 2012, which kicked off this week. Mm-hmm. And what we're seeing right now are images that one is a little. We're seeing a. a Really, um, a lot of cool pictures here, but the one thing that we're a bit uh, thrown off to the side, and we're not understanding this, is the Master Grade One One Hundred Scale Ale Strike Gundam. Now, hold on mm-hmm. a second. Don't we have that already? Yeah, but I'm assuming it's going to be a recolor, maybe to match the HD release or something. So it's a little, so slightly like different shade of blue and red. So basically, it's, I like the H, it's like the HD version of the of the uh, Mark II when it came out a couple of years before. Remember that? I guess I don't see. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't look any different from my Strike Rouge that I got. So I don't think it is, unless okay. they give you different hands. But like, what? What do they do? Okay, when they released the uh, the wing kits, they released the the old. Um, Master Raid Wing uh, Katoki version, remember? Right, there was Katoki. You got it. I remember that. Yeah, I yeah you that. bought it. And all they did was give you, what, like, new uh, connector pieces for the action base, wasn't it? Yes. But it was also at a slightly different color. 
Right. It was, it was... I assume that's what this is. But what they should have done was to make it a little better and um, a little more unique is give you the other two packs with it. That would have been kind of cool. They've already done that. Cool. I mean, they've already done that on a separate kit, but. Well, I know, but if they're gonna release this again, I mean, give us a reason, or at least give us that bazooka, because I know there's a limited release with the bazooka you use in like one episode. And if it's a re-release, the price would have been the same. But so instead, they're showing off the uh, to be announced. Yeah, to be announced. Yeah. I have that a distinct weird. feeling that maybe someone forgot to write down 2.0 someplace. I hope it is a 2.0. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. Considering the fact that this one doesn't have the parts forming hands, this one is a full, full digit hands. Unless it's the parts forming hands, and they're going to keep the price down. I don't know. Or they just decided to give you an extra little set of hands, which I doubt. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. However, besides the fact that they're showing this, which is okay, the next series of kits took us by surprise. But, mm -hmm. not surprisingly, because we knew this was going to happen. Well, the first two did, yeah. yeah. Or they, they're not surprising, but the, next, the last one was. Yeah, the first, oh, so what we're referring to here is the Master Grade 1-100 scale Gundam Age 3. And so you guys understand, uh, <laughs> Gundam guy, kind of, I don't know if he spelled it right or wrong. He called it Normalin, but it's normal. And then the Age FX. Both of them title. Ti both of them are going to be released for uh, 2013, uh, but no ETA. There's no release date. There's no price. Clearly, this could segue into like the summertime, like either April to May, and then June or July, one of those two months. But uh, those are pretty nice kits. There, pretty big too. Nice and bulky and very good detail. Yeah. Do you think the Age FX is going to come with those little effect parts in the first release? It has to come with it because if they're going to release another kit with the effective parts, it's 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 going to be stupid. I'm not going to pay. It. I'm like, not going to. It, like... No one is going to pay fifty dollars or sixty dollars for two kits: one without the effect parts and one with the effect parts. Someone's forgetting the Extreme Blast Destiny and the yes, full Blast. Yes, they did that, and, and, they, and I can imagine that Bandai is probably you know saying, you know what, we better not do that. Yeah, who knows? It, it I was good both. for it was good for a one time deal, but not again. But, Never know. I, but yeah, it could be wrong. Um but the biggest surprise on Master Grades has to be the Sinanju Stein. Or Stan. Mm -hmm. But I think it's Stein. Uh February two thousand thirteen. I didn't realize it'd be so soon, but that's gonna be awesome. Well it's it's the actual kit that's gonna come right after Toggies. Mm hmm. Very, very uh, clear. Uh, it's one of those mobile suits that, you know what? Can you give me some feedback? I've seen the kit. I've seen the mm -hmm. the, the design of the kit, and I've seen you know like the. I think there was a resin kit version of this. But what what was the purpose of the Stein? Do you have any history on this? Uh, I I read about it. And I think I forgot. But I believe it's more like. Is it like a mass, a mass produced version? I'm not really sure. I gotta go on. Hold on. Let me go on the wiki. I need to find out. Because I know about this. Okay, while well, you're looking at that, let me uh, discuss on other kits that they've announced. Um, let's see here. We'll go with the with the SD kits. So, we're seeing some SD kits like the SD uh, Gundam BB Sunshi Banshee, which, mm -hmm. is a, which I think was a wise choice to do that, the Banshee version SD kit. I have the do? I have the unicorn version of this kit, which I haven't built yet, and the Sinanju uh, SD. I try. I, I should like at least take a time to build it, but the SD version of the Banji looks pretty pretty cute, uh, along with, of course, the SD version of the Delta Plus, which comes with a base jabber. That's pretty uh, nice of a uh, of a uh, Bandai to include that with this kit. Yeah, they seem to have a tendency of doing that lately, like the uh, Kshatriya came with a little uh, Loto. Another kit that I need to evolve, so... Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, oh, another SD kit called the SDBB Legends. Also a kit that's in these, uh, that will be released in 2013. Mm -hmm. Moving on to high grades. Big surprise. 
and I know you were, were, were clamoring for this, Gundam EZ-8. Oh, yeah. Finally. I know they do it eventually because they've got the Gove Custom, they got the Ground-type Gundam. So I was hoping eventually they'd do the high-grade EZ-8 because I like the original. They came out in 99, but right. it needed a new one badly. Better proportion, sort of. I never bought the EZ-8 kits, uh, the EZ-8 version of this kit, the high-grade nor the master-grade. Mm. I mean, excuse me. The funny thing is, they both come with different backpacks. The ba Master Grade comes with the backpack that has the long-range rifle in it, mm -hmm. and the High Grade comes with the um, parachute that I used in that one episode. Yeah, so I wonder if this is going to come with one or both. Well, we'll be seeing a lot of pro uh, production photos of this kit. Right now, the retail price on this is 1,600 yen, and it has a release date of April 13, uh, April 2013. Um, other high-grade kits that have been announced, um, the Zaku 2 Black TriStar Custom. I think there is a Black mm -hmm. TriStar kit, but it's uh, it's for the uh, the Zaku 1 version. So the Zaku 2, I think it's appropriate, and there, there hasn't been any one, any, any other uh, mm -hmm. kits like that. And of course okay, you did... Okay, so I got... Oh. oh, sorry. Oh, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying, okay, the information on the uh, Sanaju Stein... Mm -hmm. It says it was built from data obtained by both the new Gundam and the Sazabi. And it was actually, it was built by Anaheim Electronics to test a certain, the uh, Psycho Farm, I guess, for the Unicorn. So it's kind of like the brother of the Unicorn, in a way. So it's a, apparently. So it's a test model, it's a te not, not, a sort of, yeah. not a mass-produced version. No. It was, yeah, so it predates the Unicorn. Really? Interesting. That's yeah. good. I think I've seen this. Um, I think I've seen this mobile suit also in the video game version of Unicorn. It's out on Japan. It hasn't, of course, mm -hmm. made it to the states yet. Um, yet, I don't think it'll ever come to the states. There's a few Gundam um, games that has come out for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox in Japan yeah. that hasn't hit. You know, hit well, the, uh, if the next side. version, if the next version of the uh, the one we've been playing there, I forgot the name of it. What is it? Which one? Well, we 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 were playing on the PS3. Uh, oh, you mean another uh, Gundam Dynasty Warriors? Yeah, if it, if it comes, if the next one comes out with that, then we can play it. I wonder if they release it, or they will continue releasing it with uh, through downloadable contents. I know I don't know if they have done any more. If they did, mm -hmm. we would have, we would have seen news about that. But uh, we'll yeah, see what happens. Up. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, other okay, so going back to the high grade version uh, kits, Perfect Strike Gundam, which you were talking about before, uh, basically the yeah. same thing as the Strike, just perfect. So do you think they're gonna just use the uh, no grade parts and just give it to the high grade, Most like we did, and right. just give us the extra battery pack, which I kind of wouldn't mind getting just for that extra battery pack to give it to the real grade and have a perfect real grade Strike. You would think that Bandai would be wise and make this as a real grade, because there is a real grade kit out there, and just only need to do is add an extra part here and there. Yeah, that'd be nice. But who knows? Uh, well, I'm so upset that they didn't have the perfect strike in the last couple episodes of Seed. I know. I was like, why are they, why are you guys teasing us this? Uh, really? At least they should have won. So I guess they figured that little puny sword shield can't block the uh, blast from the uh, Dominion. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And then, of course, the last high grade kit that they've announced is the Jesta Cannon, which didn't see this in the series. I think it will probably be coming out in the um, episode, was it episode 6 of Unicorn? Uh, Are we at 6? Yeah, I think or so. Five? Yeah, I think so. So we may be that seeing that. Nice. Bandai has this habit of showing off some of their, you know, new uh, high grade kits for the Unicorn series at the same time that they're going to release, of course, uh, the next episode. Mm -hmm. So this would probably be a wise idea to get, you know, look into this. We don't know what other kits will be coming out. It is a little too early um, since we're predicting what's coming out both in January and February. In about a month or so, we'll probably see more announcements for um, for March and April. Oh, um, and there's also the real uh, the Master Grade Rizel Type C. Really? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me the site updated without me knowing. 
Yeah, apparently. Hold on a second, guys. As you guys understand, we're we're we're, yeah. we're this is a pre-recorded video, so this may get updated again. But we're looking. Uh, I'm looking at my pages here. Let's see. There's there's some pictures of the Master Great Justa, which we'll be posting on our on this on this video. And mm -hmm. then there's the. Re Let's see here. Uh, okay. Like that. Oh wow. Okay. That is that's mm -hmm. interesting news. The Type C of the Rizal. I was never. In, I'm going to say this. I was never a big fan of the Rizal in the high grade version, considering the fact that I didn't feel like part forming a kit. Mm -hmm. But seeing this with Kaz, both the cannons and both the missile pods. Yeah. Is a welcome addition. That and uh, oh wow, to have the, that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I like and I like the colors too. Yeah, I've always liked these more than the uh, normal colors. I mean, the normal colors are fine, but I just like the I don't know the orange and the light gray. Uh, did we mention the uh, high grade blue frame? No, we did not, and um, I'll let you take this uh, because I Freaking would never. Oh man, I love that blue frame. It was one of my favorites for the longest time until XP showed up. It was probably my second pair, and that was my third. But it's, I'm assuming, because it's second L, so it's the one that came out, like, it'll be more like the one that came out in the no grade, not the master grade we recently got. Right. So it, won't, it probably won't have those blade arms that you can get. It'll, it'll still make the buster sword, the gatling gun, the backpack. And I'm not sure if it's going to parts form those parts. It's, it shouldn't be that complicated to make a high grade that would actually have those parts transform, but you never know. I'm a bit surprised. So it'll be interesting. I'm a bit surprised, and after looking at this, why, I mean, we haven't had a perfect grade kit since Freedom. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Bandai didn't milk the, ass, the astray and made the blue frame totally version. Could. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, they, they had the frame. They only mm -hmm. had to do was modify the armor a bit, to change the colors, yes. and of they course... Just, they, make... just use this... they just use the straight frame, right? Exactly, yeah. The, uh... yeah. That's it. They, they, they had an opportunity to, con you know, milk it a bit more because of the frame. Hell, they could have made the strike noir. Perfect grade. Maybe sometime in the future, who knows. That what? would be cool. But this also means that we might see a red frame... Red frame Kai, maybe, because uh, they can use the same sword from the blue frame with the red frame, like they did with the master grade. Wait a minute. We might see the hold, gold frame. Hold on a second. They made a red frame. There is no, a... but they might make the Kai, mm. like with the backpack. See, that was. They. I don't know if they. I don't know if this is gonna be. Cause we gotta think about this for a second. They'd have an old high grade of the red frame, right? But will yes. they use it? Will they use that for the blue frame? Because they could. Or will this be a new one like the uh, Astro M, uh, the M1 was? Because if they do, that means they could give us a new version of the red frame, or they might just be using the old frame. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. All they have to do is give us new shoulder armor, a new head, new feet, and the, the backpack. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then they could give us the gold frame. That'd be nice. And we're, we're asking a lot from Bandai to do, to for you know we're asking them to do a lot of things for calendar year 2013, and hey, with, we didn't ask them; they did it themselves. Well, I, I know, I, clearly. I mean, I would like I would like to see a, ma a Master Grade Leo, but I don't think it's yeah. going to come out next year. That's that's a that, maybe uh, next uh, Christmas. Mm, that'd be nice to see that next Christmas. I'll probably do something crazy like a Perfect Grade, of course. Perfect Grade Leo. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept <laughs> that. But um, with that being said, it, it's an amazing uh, series of announcements. For We're not this. done yet, buddy boy. We're not done yet. Oh, yes. We need to quickly talk about the real grade test patterns for inspection. For what? The real oh. grades. They're talking about the new real grades that they might Oh, that's with. right. Uh, you know what? I am very sorry. I forgot about this. There's also a picture, and hopefully you, we'll have it posted right now. Uh, real grade test patterns for inspection. So upcoming real grade kits. Doesn't say it's coming out for 2013. It just means that they're considering it. So we have mm -hmm. four choices here. The Zagak, 
And clearly the Zagat can go two ways, both normal production and Char's custom. The um, RGM 79 GM. Um, isn't that the gun cannon? 79 GM. No, it's the GM. Oh, it's the GM. I'm sorry. It's the mass production type. Um, think, oh, 179. Uh, no, uh, I forgot the numbers. <laughs> Screw me. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, mass production version of the GM. Then we have the, the Gulf. Mm -hmm. um, which, of course, eh, some people will argue they can make a Gulf custom version of that, but I don't think so. And, of course, the RX-79G ground, uh, Gundam ground type. Mm -hmm. Which, they already have a high-grade version of it, but... Mm -hmm. See, this is a real grade. We'll probably they have a high-grade of all of them, so... Mm -hmm. But I think the one people probably want the most is the Gulf, I'm thinking. And then followed by the uh, ground type. I think the Zagak is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Looking... Uh -huh. um, for the longest time, that would be an, that would be an uh, interesting inner frame. Yeah, because I, I've you've, have you seen the inner the inner frame of design of the Master Raid version of the Gulf? It's a pretty amazing kit to look at. It's pretty big. It's pretty bulk. It, it's not big, big, but it's bulkiness and it has a lot of uh, surface detail. To see this as a high grade version, or excuse me, a real grade version, mm -hmm. it's going to be an amazing looking kit. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm more inclined to get into Zagak than the Gulf. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I never really liked the uh, Zagak that much. That's just me, though. I mean, it's cool little funky mobile suit, but, eh. If I'm going to get a real grade, I'd rather get a Gulf. We each have our own desires. Of course. You should get the Master Grade. Eventually. I got too many kits here to work with. Right. Yeah. Get it. So that pretty much covers the announcements. Clearly, once we re um, once this vi um, this audio is uh, released on on YouTube, we're probably going to be seeing some other kits that Bandai has not yet um, announced yet at the time when we were watching this. So don't fault us for this. You know, we're we're doing this ad hoc. Eventually, on our channel, on our separate channels, we'll come, we'll talk about the, you know, any other newer kits that Bandai will announce. But uh, for now, we're looking at some amazing, cool kits. Clearly, uh, we're gonna all save our pennies and dimes and nickels, and hopefully get mm -hmm. the kits that we want. I think we'll end mm -hmm. this segment with the current kits that's coming out this calendar year in the last, in the next month or so. Um, for those of you who probably haven't seen my video, I posted the uh, uh, my um, my acquisition of the Master Grade Aegis Gundam, my Master mm -hmm. Grade Dark Hound, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, and some other two kits that I don't know if you guys are interested in uh, knowing about. And uh, I know you got your kits, didn't you? Not yet, but. Hopefully, either this week coming up or next week. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then for this calendar year, we're going to be seeing... I mean, excuse me, for this next month or so, we're going to be seeing the Master Grade Banshee uh, Titanium Colors version. Or was it Titanium or Exafinish? I forgot which one it is. Titanium. 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 Okay. So that's coming out. For those of you who huh? have the... Uh, looks sexy. Looks sexy, but you have to have deep pockets for this. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not pointing. I'm not pouring my money on that kit. My money uh, is going to be on new Gundam Verka, which is of coming course. out. I haven't even <laughs> built the uh, Banshee yet. The Master Grid sitting over there. I should, but I'm doing other stuff. Oh, but go. no, new Gundam. Oh yeah. The new Gundam is pretty badass. Everybody saw the photographs mm -hmm. that I posted on uh, from the Comic Con show. I was looking at it firsthand, and I have to admit, it's pretty... I've never had the new Gundam before. Never. I, I've had the original new Gundam from when, it first, when the um, Charles Counter Attack movie came out back in the 90s, uh, which was the, mm -hmm. I think the I think it was the 1 100 scale, uh, 144 scale version of it. But the 1 100 scale never purchased it. Now I have an excuse to purchase it. Um... Other kits that came out this month is, of course, the Brylant. For those of you who've gotten mm, that yeah. kit, 
I haven't, uh, I'm hoping to get that soon. Uh, what, other, what other high grade kits are coming out this month and December? This month? Uh, for high grades? I don't even know. Shows why not. Uh, let me pull up my little. But I mean, I know that the SDs, we got the, uh, the HFX. Okay. And um, I think that. Did the Command Gundam come out last month or this month? Command Gundam? Yeah, the SD one, you know, that green one with all the guns. Oh, you mean a Commando? Is it? Co uh, wait, no, you said Command. I think it came out. I think yes. it's Command. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. It came out. Uh, what's supposed to come out now for this month and next month for high grades is the Oh, Gundam. the Fortress. Yes, the H3 Fortress. Mm -hmm. And in December, the Rosen Zulu. Oh yeah, that's right. God damn, that thing is sexy. And it's big, so I would probably. I love what it, I love the anime where it just it takes it all the suits and then it does a little like curtsy thing. It's like, hey, I'll back up. And then of course, in, uh, do thing. and in January we'll be seeing the uh, Zeta version of Nemo, followed by the Gundam yeah. FX burst mode. Well, I'm, I don't. I can't see my Nemo over there, but it, is it really that different in color? It's I don't a, remember. It's just a kind of color design, that's all. I know, but I don't think it's a huge difference anyway, so I don't see a diff like a, a reason. There are there are Nemo fans out there. And they... Oh, I remember now. The uh, Nemo that I have is like a it's like a soft blue in like the limbs, or this one's like what a greeny color. It was kind of like that. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a green. It's like what we do. I could repaint it. Not really into red colors anymore, unless they're like metallic or uh, clear. I understand. Well, guys, that's pretty much covers everything here. The holidays are upon us. I know that uh, many of you guys are doing some online shopping or going to your favorite stores or hoping that uh, your your significant other, family, friend, or whatever is openly getting the, the you know the kits that you guys want. I'd like to thank everyone from uh, for listening to this uh, segment of Gunplay Cast and. Uh, if we don't do one again uh, for the end of the calendar year, I hope uh, you, everyone has a great holiday season. And uh, thank you for listening to this show. Take care. Bye-bye.